And now, marine weather around Alaska. Greetings, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with your Alaska Marine Weather Outlook on this Sunday, April 14th, 2024. And we start out looking at the uh, ice across the Bering Sea on this Sunday afternoon. We still have a fair amount of ice within uh, Kuskokwim Bay, shore fast ice here up along the north side. We are gonna see some stronger southeast and then southerly winds with a frontal system and low pressure that's gonna be tracking north of St. Paul and riding on up uh, toward the Bering Strait and the west side of the uh, Seward Peninsula by Monday night. And as a system approaches, we expect southeast winds to increase to 45 knot gales uh, within uh, the uh, open waters here offshore. So the ice will likely shift around a bit and could even retreat northward uh, in that particular uh, pattern here for the early part of the week. Otherwise, uh, milder temperatures will be taking shape over uh, the Gulf Coast and especially into the Panhandle as we develop a pretty strong ridge of high pressure from the surface up through the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. So the weather map, later tonight and early Monday morning, we have a low uh, passing across the lower bearing after it crossed through the central Aleutians this Sunday afternoon. And this low will continue to track uh, north northeastward to the western side of here of the Seward Peninsula. This low across eastern Russia will lift north of Utgiadbik, pushing warmer air further north. But as it does so, another round of snow and blowing snow will impact areas of the Seward Peninsula and along the Chukchi Sea coastline. Could even be uh, near blizzard conditions at times again as winds could gust quite high, 40, 50 miles an hour, even 60 mile an hour winds possible here along the lower Yukon Delta with this low moving in uh, later Monday and especially Monday night and early Tuesday. So west side of the state stays stormy. Here over the Gulf and the east side in through the Panhandle, this ridge of high pressure will be building by Monday afternoon. It'll be the central feature on this side of the map, which will allow the Panhandle to continue to gradually clear out toward a drier, warmer trend not just for the Panhandle, but for the southeast interior and along the northern Gulf Coast. We do expect warmer temperatures, 40s, even some readings up near 50. The Panhandle will likely see temperatures in the 50s. A few spots could even flirt with 60 degrees mid and late week, as this uh, high will tend to hold over this area of northwest Canada and the Panhandle uh, into the upcoming weekend. So the main storm track will be running up out of the North Pacific, across the Alaska Peninsula, west side of the state. And we have another system coming in on Tuesday that'll be lifting up toward Kodiak Island with a mix of rain and snow going to wind-driven rain. And that will go as far north as the east side of the Kenai Peninsula into Prince William Sound by Wednesday. And then that system just kind of folds off toward the uh, west and the high just remains in place here over Northwest Canada and the Panhandle into the weekend. So again, those of you in the Panhandle will enjoy some uh, rather fine spring weather, more in the way of stormier conditions over the Bering and along the west side of the state. So uh, marine forecast Monday, north winds Lynn Canal, still a bit brisk, brisk those offshore uh, winds, or I should say those outflow winds, 25 knots, waves five feet, 15 knot northwest winds down through uh, Petersburg and Ketchikan, uh, Metlakatla. The outer coast, north and northwest winds generally right around 15 knots with swells of five to seven feet. For Tuesday, winds really come down because that high pressure center will be located over here toward the east side of the Gulf. So variable winds around five knots, swells only a few feet. For the inner channels, look for north, north, uh, north winds about 10 to 15 knots from the Lynn Canal down through Stevens Passage. Southeast to 10 knots there, Dixon entrance up through uh, Ketchikan and uh, Metlakatla, waves just a couple of feet. Now across the northwestern Gulf, because this is where the high pressure ridge will be moving overhead on Monday, we expect variable winds only around 10 knots, so not very consequential for waves. Uh, waves or swells only a couple of feet. Might see though a south wind into the entrance of Cook Inlet to 25 knots with swells of four to five feet. And then as we get into Tuesday, uh, with that system coming up from the North Pacific approaching Kodiak Island, winds are going to increase southeasterly 25 to 30 knots there at the entrance of Cook Inlet with swells 6 to 8 feet. Still variable winds up on the north end of Cook Inlet at 10 knots and easterly winds at 10 knots uh, inside of uh, Prince William Sound and variable winds around 10 knots outside of Hinchinbrook entrance with swells of 2 to 3 feet. Now, Across uh, Kodiak Island for Monday, winds will be south-southwest 15 to 20 knots, but the, the main winds will be associated with that low pressure that's lifting 
up toward the uh, west side of the state and eastern bearing. Southerly winds ahead of it. Southeast winds 25 knots within Bristol Bay, though as high as 35 to 40 knots southerly gales across the lower portion of the Alaska Peninsula with swells as high as 12 feet uh, near uh, Falls Pass and on the north side there uh, of Cold Bay, 8 feet. And for Tuesday, winds ahead of the next low that's going to be coming up out of the North Pacific and approaching Kodiak Island. This will have uh, east to southeast winds 25 to 30 knots around Kodiak Island, east of Chicknick, swells 6 to 7 feet. And down along the Alaska Peninsula, generally southeast winds at 20, 25 knots. And then for the eastern Aleutians Monday, strongest winds 40 to 45 knot gales falling off to 35 knot gales. There's just across the eastern portion. Uh, as these winds begin to lift further northward up into the uh, southeast part of the Barren. And then winds turn northwesterly around 25 to 30 knots through the middle Aleutians from Atka through Adak. For Tuesday, winds do come down kind of a mix north, northwest winds 15 to 20 knots over the eastern Aleutians. Westerly 25 to maybe near 30 knots north of Atka and Adak. And uh, swells generally 5 to 7 feet uh, throughout the eastern central Aleutians on the Bering side and around 8, 9 feet across the North Pacific side. So here comes the area of low pressure will be tracking up near St. Matthew by Monday afternoon. Strongest winds uh, in this southeast quadrant of the low. We're expecting southeast 45 knot gales across Kuskokwim Bay into Etolan Strait. 45 knot southerly gales there around and east of uh, St. Paul, St. George. This is going to force the ice to retreat northward. And we're all expecting temperatures too to be above freezing, so that'll allow for some melting of the ice along the ice edge. And then 35 knot uh, southeasterly gales along the lower Yukon Delta, and you factor in some higher gusts, there, there could be some considerable blowing and drifting snow near blizzard conditions at times by the time we get into Monday evening, Monday night, into Tuesday morning. And then on Tuesday, as that low lifts further north, uh, winds will go uh, easterly 25 knots there out of uh, Bristol and Kuskokwim Bays. Southerly, uh, 15 to 20 knots along the lower Yukon Delta, 25 knots still within the wider expanse of Norton Sound. And then through the Bering Strait on Monday, winds will be southerly uh, at 30 knots, as high as 35 knots around and just offshore of Point Hope and Point Lay. Again, these areas along the coast could see considerable blowing and drifting snow as a result because we do have the, the system coming across eastern Russia with that warm front causing temperatures to moderate as it lifts northward, but a broad southerly flow all across uh, the Arctic and northwest coast. Uh, from Utkiadvik uh, through Prudhoe Bay, south winds 25 knots, southeasterly 15 knots around Kaktovik. And then for Tuesday, still southerly winds 15 knots around Kaktovik, 25 knots southerly winds, uh, Prudhoe Bay to Utkiadvik, but then turning northerly, wane right down to just north of uh, Cape Lisbourne to 20 knots, but still a southerly, southerly winds 25 to 30 knots within the lower Chuck GC, and then southerly winds 20 to 25 knots south of the Bering Strait to the north side of St. Lawrence and up into the wider expanse of Norton Sound.